So I heard you're looking for an online business to start. Well, you came to the right place. Because what I have right here, right now, are the keys to helping you get that done. Yo, what up, y'all? What's going on? I'm Frank. This is the Digital Boss Life. What I do is help influencers, affiliate marketers, and creative online brands to flex their money-making muscles. Today, we are talking a very important thing, very important concept. How do you start an online business from scratch? Now, this video might be a little bit different than what you're expecting because I'm not going to tell you specifically what to go and do, but rather tell you what you're not doing that's messing you up. So I'm not going to tell you to go here, do this, and go press this button. Because newsflash for you, my friend, the button is in your head. And it's called the dumbass button. And what the dumbass button does is it creates a whole bunch of elaborate reasons that you can't start your business today. But I don't want you to get all offended because I got a dumbass button too. A couple. And a dumbass emergency break. On the road to success, we all got these things in our head that hold us back from taking action on the things we need to do to get to that pot of gold at the end of the road. Now, I don't want to make this a big psychology thing. Nah, I do because this is exactly the thing that's holding you back. So if you've been thinking about starting an online business, what I'm going to do is give you five ways to cut the BS and actually make this shit happen. Number one is just get started, man. Yeah, you just got to get started. Now, today, what are you waiting for? And if you are waiting, what you should understand is that you are wasting valuable time that you could be actually learning about the process of building an online business. So they said the best time to start an online business was 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, last year, last month. And you know when the next best time is? If you didn't do it then, right? Freaking now. So you have to recognize that whatever the thing is you're telling yourself on why you haven't started yet, it's complete BS. It's probably not real. It's not a real thing. And it's holding you back from getting to where you want to go. So the best thing that you can do is drop all the excuses. They're not legitimate. And get yourself rolling today. The second thing is do it messy. Yes, expect a big mess. Expect a semi-disaster and chaos going on. Tis good. It will help you learn what to do, what not to do. A lot of guys are out there waiting to make something perfect before they launch it. But perfect doesn't exist. And perfect is a stalling mechanism. Why would you stall? Because the mind is kind of stupid. And it often blocks us from simply doing what we need to do. So it's not gonna be perfect. You're probably not gonna be awesome at it right off the bat. The truth is, you're just not gonna know how to do this until you do this. Number three is remove the barriers to entry. So if you're aiming for perfectionism, it's a very high bar, it's a high standard, and usually stops people from moving forward. So the key here is if something's blocking you, if you're hung up on something, you're stuck on something that's not allowing you to move forward, simply lower that bar, lower the barrier to entry. So I'm gonna give you an example of what I'm doing here with this YouTube channel. So perfect for me would be to have a video editor and they can put all the fancy edits and logos and pop-ups and if I point here, it's gonna hit that and put some music in the background and 
all that cool stuff. But the way my account is currently set up, an editor is just not in the budget. So rather than get stuck on having the perfect camera, the perfect sounds, and a brilliant editor to make my videos more exceptional than they already are, I simply grabbed my iPhone, a backdrop, and started recording videos. Perfect in my mind, it's where I'm going, is different than what's actually occurring in real time. So if you've got a perfect vision on how you want things to look and it's stopping you from taking action on what you need to do, simply lower the barrier to entry. Make the process simpler. Do less, make less videos. Do whatever you need to do to start to push these projects forward and then you go for your perfect vision of what's going on when you get there. Number four is clarity is a process. So you might not know exactly what you're doing, who you're speaking to, and exactly how you're gonna do it. Dope man, welcome to the club. Not many people are going to figure out how to define their mission, their values, and the way they operate business before actually operating business and working with some customers. And in that process, process, you discover, you fall into your ways of being and how you operate. And as you do that, brilliant ideas come to you. But you damn sure ain't gonna figure it out sitting on your couch, not working with anybody, or not putting any content out to the world and figure out what people are actually into. Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs, you know? You miss 100% of the swings you do not take, my friend. So clarity is a process. Don't expect to have it without the actual experience of doing this thing. And number five is to outsource quickly. This is like almost an actionable thing, but I'm gonna school you to something right here, young buck. Many online entrepreneurs screw themselves up and waste a lot of time, cause a lot of frustration and a lot of stress simply because they become solopreneurs. So they set out on this journey of online entrepreneurship. They simply try to learn and master a lot of stupid stuff. Now I say that because I'm thinking like a real entrepreneur and not an online solopreneur, solo artist, solo act. That's not gonna help you. So unless you're super talented at a lot of the behind the scenes mechanical stuff that goes on, the video editing, the audio editing, the, the stuff, that doesn't really have anything to do with being an influencer, someone of influence in front of the camera. Many solopreneurs waste time because they want to learn and do SEO. They want to go build websites and edit pretty collages and colorful photos. And you need to understand that that stuff is just slowing you up. And as a personal brand, you should be spending most of your time in the area of communication-based skills. I'm gonna put a link to a video here where I discuss high-income skills and why the biggest high-income skills are communication-based. Again, unless you're a super whiz at those behind-the-scenes things, you should be generally focused on your message, how you communicate your message, and how you show up as an individual and as a leader. That's gonna accelerate your process to success. The faster you can learn to delegate and put a team around you to help you be more successful is the faster you're gonna get to that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Understand the value of your time and energy and as you start to generate income from what you're doing online as quickly as possible, start to delegate and you'll accelerate to your goals faster. This may not be what you thought you're gonna get, 
but I'm telling you, my friend, this is exactly what you need to hear. The human mind, it's not, it's not designed for success. It's designed to keep us safe. It's dumb. And if you're not sharp enough to be aware of what's going on in all of our heads that's stopping us from moving forward and gaining momentum, you're missing out on a key part of the success formula. Big thing to understand is if you're not moving forward, you're not moving forward. And don't judge yourself for being a dumbass. We're all dumbasses, myself included. And that's exactly why I'm highly qualified to talk to you about this. And again, just remember, the best time to start an online business was sometime in the past. The next best time to start an online business is right now. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing this video for you. And if you did, I'd love to hear your thoughts on which one of these five things really struck you the most and has you motivated to go out and start your online business today. So head down below in the comments and let me know. Smash that subscribe button. Guys, I'm Frank. This is the Digital Boss Life. I look forward to catching you very soon in the next video.